Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, video about Merenge. Uh, I have two special guests for, uh, for you. One you already know, Wigbert. He's going to play and explain you how you can play the tambora in Merenge. And another special guest is Alfredo. They are two famous percussionist players in Holland and they are excellent uh, Merenge players. Okay, we are going to explain you how you can play the Merenge. And the first thing is the tambora. I will give the word to Wigbert and he will explain different patterns for tambora. Good day everybody. Before we start with the rhythm that we just played for you, it's um, very important to know that this is the traditional one, tambora one, that they use in Santo Domingo. And there is a way to hold the tambora, to play it. Uh, they use it on your left, you can see a different uh, kind of a road that I put and the right can the, the right side that this is the left side and this is the right side they call them the himbra on your left and the macho on your right this is very important to know about the tambora the first rhythm that we play uh, the medio palo I'm gonna show you how to start. You count with your, it is um, good to know that the count is on your left hand, but before you start with the one, I play the one on my right side. So I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna tell one, two, three, four, one. This is the palo, the media palo that they played in Santo Domingo. It's very traditional played. They don't play it uh, anymore. Um, only in the conjuntos, the small groups, they use it. The second part that we, uh, rhythm that we play, uh, that called the corrido. And you also count with your left, uh, but you start with on your right and start to count, count the one with your right hand. One, two, three, four. One. This is the second one that we uh, just played for you. The name is the Corrido. Yeah, it's very important to explain now um, the way that you play your right hand on the edge and the left hand uh, up uh, for the slap and the timing from how to play it. I'm gonna explain now from how to play it. Uh, you start with your left hand on the one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. To touch it, just uh, be relaxed. You have to be relaxed. And you make a touch for the slap. And this one is for the open tone.
the right side is like the same on your left. You have to use your rear tool and very relaxed with with a stick and you hit it uh, yeah in the middle of the tambora like this for the producer for a nice song. Also the same system that you use for the edge. Hi everybody, I'm gonna explain something about uh, the guira. It's an instrument from Santo Domingo, traditional instrument. It looks very easy, but it is, requires uh, some practice before you can play up tempo. Um, I'm gonna show you a small exercise uh, for the basic. Um, your hand goes down. That's the beat. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Sounds like this. You start two times down for the first count. So down, down, up, down. And you can do it as fast as, as you like. So, down, up, down. Then, one of the most important thing is the way uh, you hold the gancho, it's called the gancho. The movement is very important. You should never play, uh, use, never use the uh, muscles of your arm or, or arm movement. So, don't play down, up, down. Everything comes from the wrist, so you make this movement as relaxed as you can. If you're gonna start practice, you will notice that there comes some tension here in your muscles and just stop and try it again five minutes later. I'm gonna explain a different pattern what we just played with the medio palo and the corrido. It's a more difficult pattern and you should uh, master the first one before you try to do this one. Um, it starts with an upbeat uh, before the count. Two, three, four. You start up and you go down as, is, as if we did in the first exercise. Up, down. And you go up before the beat. Two, three, four. Up, down and down again. Three, four. So it is up, down, down, long stroke up, and again up, and then you repeat the pattern. Yeah, one, two, three, four. The second pattern. I will make one other video with the two specialists of merengue, with Palm Beach and other uh, kinds of rhythms. But now we're gonna have some fun and hope to see you next time. Bye bye!